Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, December 14th, 2016 edition of the Sand Center Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. Well, today, of course, Microsoft Patch Tuesday, we got 11 different bulletins from Microsoft, plus one from Adobe for Flash that was also included by Microsoft. The Adobe one is, of course, critical as usual. In addition, we had five of the Microsoft bulletins that are rated critical. We did rate the bulletins for Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge as critical because one of the vulnerabilities is already publicly known and may lead to arbitrary code execution. This particular vulnerability is CVE 2016-7202. And it is a memory corruption vulnerability in the scripting engine. While these vulnerabilities are publicly disclosed, uh, there is currently, according to Microsoft, uh, no exploitation reported for these issues. A third bulletin included a publicly disclosed vulnerability, and that's the bulletin for the .NET framework, MS 16, 155. We didn't rate that as a patch now because it's just an information disclosure vulnerability. Other than that, really nothing too terribly exciting. Tons of vulnerabilities uh, being patched in Office. That's actually the bulletin with the most vulnerabilities assigned to it, MS-1648. But none of these vulnerabilities are publicly disclosed or have been exploited in the wild. So as far as patch priority goes, start with the patches for Internet Explorer, Edge, and then of course Flash, and then continue with the remainder in whatever order you see fit. And well, Microsoft wasn't alone today. Apple continued its updates. Yesterday we saw iOS, tvOS, and watchOS updates. The watchOS update was actually removed again because it caused some issues with some watches. Now, today, we also got an update for macOS Sierra. Nothing really too exciting. A bunch of vulnerabilities that can lead to arbitrary code execution by visiting a malicious website. So those are certainly critical things to patch. In addition, also a large number of approach escalation of vulnerabilities. In addition to updates for macOS Sierra, we also got new versions of iTunes and iCloud for Windows and for older versions of OS 10 there's also now a new version of Safari that fixes the various web application or web browser bugs. So in short today had something for Everybody, Windows users, Mac users, you all get to patch. In addition, of course, some of the Office patches released today do apply also for Office on the Mac. And Netgear released a statement in response to the new vulnerability that was disclosed in some of its products. Now, it turns out that about a dozen different Netgear products are vulnerable, not just the two that were originally mentioned to be vulnerable. Netgear has published a preliminary beta firmware that does fix the flaw. However, that beta firmware is only available for five of the affected routers. That's the R6250, 6400, 6700, 7000, and 8,000. Netgear says that their investigation is still ongoing, so watch the page for updates and see what other firmware updates or such they will release in order to fix this problem. And when talking about yesterday's Apple patches, remember again, iOS, watchOS, and tvOS, there was one vulnerability affecting all three operating systems that is exploited by exposing the user to a malicious profile file and then tricking the user into installing that profile with a certificate. Well, it turns out there is a proof of concept exploit available now for this vulnerability. So don't delay updating in particular iOS, the watch OS update, of course, uh, was uh, removed for now. So we'll have to wait uh, for another update to be released in order to address uh, this problem. 
And well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.